Hey guys, Dino Gamer here, and we are playing a little game called Anatomically Incorrect Dinosaurs, which I downloaded for free off of itch.io, and and you can see why. This title screen here just just says it all. I don't have any idea what the actual game is going to be like, but frankly, for the chance just to look at this craziness, it was worth it to download it. And I guess we're just going to kick it off. We're going to click on that start button. Your name? Here. I'm going to go with uh, Herbert who... Ho, Herbert Ho, and his ho, ho dam that he built. Ah, Dr. Herbert Ho, it's an honor to finally meet you. Our ex excavation team has just arrived with new parts, and we're in need of your expertise to assemble them. It's up to you to show the world how these glorious creatures may have looked like. We handpicked you from a number of world-renowned candidates because you are known for your precision. We are confident that you will shed light on this subject with accuracy. The world wants to know about these magnificent beasts. Go make history. What happened to your face? Yes, this is the Smithsonian. We are all confident. Confident in science. Ha <laughs> ha. Such a glorious profession, albeit dangerous sometimes. Nevertheless, a little controversy never stopped the truth, and finding the truth is what you are here for. Go do the science! Yeah, no, I'm gonna need to hear more about this controversy, my man. Ah, uh, yes. Controversy is the cornerstone of any informed society. At the very foundation of science is controversy, along with inflated ego, academic rivalry, and a smidgen of existential crisis. Don't ask me how all that works. It's like a midlife crisis. What are we talking about? Oh, right. Yes. Tough nature of science. This is your opportunity to contribute. And go make history. You know, I'm going to stop dithering around. I think we could click on these things for a while, but we'll just go make history. I love these transitions. Meanwhile, back at the paleontology department. At last. Dr. Herbert Ho, it is such an honor to meet you. I am your ungainly yet studious assistant, Albert. And have studiously arranged all parts into boxes so you can freely do the science. Albert is prepared to assist with speculation and be your human shield if things get out of hand. Albert is a good assistant. Yeah, tell me more about this speculation, Albert. Great science. Ref Man, this voice is going to blow out my voice. <laughs> Requires great minds. Although Albert's mind is far from great due to a transplant accident, the human brain can only survive for so long outside the head. Uh, I digress. Uh, right. Albert is here to offer plausible scenarios regarding the life, death, and habits of these creatures, as well as protect you. Albert is a good assistant. Okay. Yes, of course, one of the best. Yes, Albert graduated from the University of Experiments Gone Wrong with honors in... Unmitigated disasters. Albert also has a degree in menacing laughs and works well under pressure. Lightning storms or fire. Albert is great for, for this opportunity. Oh, no, 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 no. Albert wishes not to be reminded of Albert was so close. And Albert is grateful that experiments gone wrong is such a forgiving institution to students of the darker, more elusive sciences. As a result, unmitigated disasters is my cum laude. Albert is an achieved assistant. And they're uh they're going full out with this experiments gone wrong. I wanna I wanna do the science. Where what, can I click on any of these things? Oh, these are different things I can click on. There's a picture there. Yes, yes. Albert's dissertation was on the subject of immortality and how the living dead can be harvested, quote unquote in order to produce a serum that may be transferred to the undead's immortality to those not yet dead. It was very complicated, involving much human testing, scheming, and nefarious laughter. You will not find anyone more qualified than Albert. Okay, we'll click on, I guess. Okay, we're not, that's a discard. And we're clicking on these things down here. A body, fascinating. Dr. Herbert Ho, simply fascinating. Okay, so this is our... Uh, I guess we need... 
a head. Excellent, the head! You may wish to append the neck first. What? Well, there we go. The only commonality these cre creatures share is that they all sound alike when they talk. I didn't hear what it said. What is going on? By science, a tale, indeed. Remarkable work. I'm so confused. Certainly a leg is most appropriate. I am intrigued by how your mind works, Herberto. <laughs> Can I add another leg on? Oh yeah, no. We're just going to load him up with legs now. It seems we are out of legs. That's fine. I can't understand what the dinosaur is saying. Okay, heart stopping. We have here the notorious Herbert Horotopetus, a weak-willed and easily led type of Tyrannosaurus Vex. But their herd mentality is a force to be reckoned with. Shall we prepare this creature for the exhibit? I guess, sure. Anger beyond reproach, the terrible president... Terrible Herbert Horrupterus breaks loose. Desperately, Herbert Ho struggles with it. The doctor is ready to face death, but just then, Albert, the loyal assistant, jumped between the two. The beast was quickly distrained, but Albert will never be the same again. I don't know what's going on in this game. <laughs> what? What is happening? Why is it singing? <laughs> what is that? It's gone. What? Uh, you can have out a bow tie. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Albert. Can I add another? Oh yeah. How many how many arms can we add? Okay, that's probably enough. Oh, I can move stuff, I think. Or I can click on it anyway and get it to be in different <gasps> Oh. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, the body can change to- Oh, okay. Probably would have been good to do this before. What is- What have I done? What is this? Okay, let's try again. Okay. We can- Okay, we can- We can pick the body. That might be the easiest thing. What do we got here? It's hard to tell what they are. There was the one that was like the Stegosaurus. This guy's cool. We'll go with him. Okay. And then... Oh, this tiny, like... Okay, he's got... Oh, we should have added a neck. Right, we'll put a neck in. There's a good... Yeah, that's a good neck. That's definitely not horrifying at all. And then... What kind of leg do we want on this bad boy? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm getting the hang of it now. I'm definitely figuring it out. What is... <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Let's take a picture. The monster of Dr. Herbert Ho. <laughs> no, I don't... It's trying to save in System 32. This game is wild. This game is just unhinged. I'm afraid I'm going to get a... Like, a virus. I mean, not really, but... Oh, well, I wanted to... Oh, what am I doing? What is going on? No, we that's about right. How do we release it into the world? Okay. I clicked on... It says, you're beyond help. Um... Can I just add all the... How? What is this? Okay. Wow.
I think maybe that's enough of that for now. That was, um... That was something. That was the thing that we did. Now we, we're going to stop doing it. I, I, uh, I'll see you next time.